Welcome, my name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and in this video we're going to talk about effects inside Lumion, which effects are really important for your renderings. See you next! So welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. Uh, in today's video we're going to explore effects, so really important part of Lumion. Uh, after your ideas, after all the vegetation, all the materials, etc. I think effects are like the third step that really going to make your renderings um, different and um, really stand out from the crowd. So I have here on the left, it's with effects. On the right is without effects. So what are the big differences? Okay, this is in different times of day, but normally without any effects add-on, the, the the light is very hard. Okay, which is like every time you know if you're a photographer or if you take photographs, you know that midday it's the the, the worst time to take photographs. Um, so of course I could change this to a bit more uh, sunset or sunrise kind of uh, time of the day. But um, the, uh, in general, if you don't play any effects, if you don't play around uh, with the sun uh, position, you get a very hard light inside Lumion. Okay, you have very strong lines in terms of shadows. Okay, you have no reflections in the water or any glass uh, reflections. So that's the big differences. Okay, it's a much more natural look uh, when you play around with the effects. The textures stand out a little bit as well. And, um, and the reflections, especially if you're using water in your projects, uh, like in this case, the reflection on the water is much more realistic. Okay. So I'm just going to see another example. So actually in here is, so I'm just going to put this one, maximize this one. So this is with, this is without, with, without. So I'm going to post this in the end of the video. Okay. These images, but as you can see, Check out the water. It's an amazing difference. Okay. Check out the sky as well. So you have a plain sky, no clouds, of course, even without playing if with the uh, effects. You, I could add some clouds in Lumion and um, I'll still have a, a bit of clouds. It will change a little bit, but um, still it's uh, real skies in Lumion is one of the most important effects for me and uh, it changes a lot um, you have here a mistake that's the horizon line and you don't see nothing you have a plane here but uh, that's a little um, thing that's missing from the project but it's a big difference having sky and without sky check out the glass so this is without this is with without not only is not realistic the reflection is blown out of proportion if you if you if you pay attention okay so it's actually reflecting these trees here that they are down for some reason i believe and it's completely blown out of proportion okay so in here this is a realistic reflection from what's happening um in front of the glass and what are the big difference in, in uh, using effects as well? Um, one of the disadvantages, uh, the only one for me is timing. Okay. So if you just want to quickly show to your client an idea, you're in a rush, you only have a couple of minutes to do uh, uh, a few images, definitely don't waste time in effects. Just do it all plain. Just concentrate on really having the best viewpoints for your renderings. Okay. And don't don't uh, don't uh, don't waste time on the effects because while this image and the print quality um, in terms of rendering time it will take me a couple of minutes this one might take you 15 20 minutes of course depending on your PC okay so because of all the reflections because um, the 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 rendering the everything that you're playing around with lighting etc 
um, it's going to take much, much more time uh, to do your rendering. So a couple of minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes. OK, so that's a big um, difference. Uh, in to uh, when I, I mean, when I'm talking in print quality, you could go for just the desktop quality. OK, so when you in Lumion, when you're rendering your photos, you have, uh, if you know, you, if you already know Lumion, you have email, desktop, print, poster. Um, the times I'm talking about is print. Normally, to show to your client, you only show I'm sharing a Dropbox folder or something like that. I would just uh, do it in desktop uh, mode, OK? So what are the, the, the effects I really like and I use it all the time? Real skies. One of the, the latest updates in Lumion 9, um, and for me it's amazing. Um, just so you know, this is in lower resolution because this project is really heavy and just don't slow down too much while I'm, film, while I'm doing the video. So if you already know real skies inside Lumion, it's all polygon, um, high quality skies. And you have this cloudy evening, morning, overcast, sunset, clear. I never use clear. If I use, I use with a bit of clouds, like this one, for example. OK, um, because uh, I like clouds. I think um, I really like clouds in my in my in my projects and in my renderings. Uh, I like to play around um, with the sun position as well. And but normally I use real skies, for example, when I'm doing an um, a me, a image to show more the ambience of the garden, mood um, to share in social networks, because if using real skies, you're not going to be able to choose to to use another effect that I think is really important. That sun study, sun study, what it does, as you can see here, because I'm using real sky is an available sun study but if i if i put uh, real skies unavailable then now i can choose in here it's more accurate i can choose the hour plus i can geolocate my project so in conclusion if i want to show the client okay this is how the garden is going to look throughout the day um, at midday in the morning in the evening I don't use real skies, I use sun study, okay? Because it, it, it may, it, I can make, I can geolocate my project, I can choose the times of day, and it's much more accurate to show the client uh, shadow, positioning, etc. If I want to, some images from my website, social networks, or even mood images to show to your clients, some first images in terms of mood, how, the, how you, 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 you dream the garden's going to look, uh, feel like even. OK, I use real skies. So that's the, the, the effects I, I use the most. So as you can see, as soon as I put real skies on, uh, sun study is out, OK? So another effect I like to, 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 to use is I like to sharpen a little bit the images. Plus, I do sometimes for social networks, especially Instagram, I use Snapseed. And I sharpen uh, the images a bit more as well. Plus the structure, I try to sharpen it and structure it just a little bit more because um, I find that not only it really works well with reflections, for example, but plus the materials, OK? Because the contract, the, the contrast of the softness of the plants uh, with, the, for example, this concrete material here from the building, it really stands out uh, if you just put the sharpen and structure after a little bit. So, and in this case, I'm using the, I'm changing the settings that come with one of the presets from Lumion. That's the realistic. I really like the two. My favorite are realistic and, and done. That's the ones I choose the most. I, I really use the most. OK. Um, and this is already some presets already done. But after, you can change them anyway. And you, in here, in, in, as, as you see here, in, but these ones, they are more dark, is the ones that are modified. Um, 
plus you have here another depth of field. Okay, so real sky sharpen reflection and skylight are the ones that the fourth effect four effects that are, I really think it's important for your renderings. Okay, skylight. I'm not going to be able to show here. This is another effect that um, because it's on and if it's high or ultra quality, it really takes a lot of time for your rendering uh, to to process. But definitely, uh, if you like, I'm saying, if you're choosing just for your client, don't waste so much time. If it's something that's going to appear in your websites, if you really want to stand out from the crowd in terms of communication from your business, etc., just play around with it and you're going to see it's a big difference in terms of all the lighting in, in the shadow areas. It's going to make a big difference. Another one is reflection. Okay. So, for example, in, in here, you can see the reflection planes that they are around. For example, if I wanted to save a little bit of time, as you see, the third, I will remove it because it's not actually in this image. Okay. So add ref the reflection planes that are really going to appear in that specific frame. Okay. Don't add all the, because it, it, it loses time. Don't add all the reflection planes. You know, I have glass in other parts of the garden, but don't add them if they're not going to appear in that frame. Okay. So yeah, that's the four, um, the four um, effects that I really like having a realistic the realistic preset on okay um dawn i really like the dawn lights more purplish um but it's amazing with um, especially with these plants i have uh, i really like them but as you can see the sky now it's a bit i like to play around with the clouds. I think it really enhances your your design, even if it's soft clouds. OK. I think the softer the clouds, the better, to be honest. It just makes it that little bit more realistic. Plus, it makes it, um, I find that for me, and this is personal, it might not be with you, but this is too harsh to. Um, I find that renderings work well with contrast between architecture and planting, but you should soften up the planting. OK, so this is is without effects as well. This is all without effects, without effects, without and with. Straight away, it's much more soft, the look. As you can see here, the planting is much softer here. OK, it's not so harsh. The lighting is not so harsh. That's what I really like to play with. OK, as you can see here, I love this. I love this light getting in. So I really like to play when you're playing around with real skies. For example, you can play around with uh, where the sun is heading. And uh, I really like to play, for example, if I really wanted to show, maybe I want to guide the eye for that sculpture. And I will definitely put the sun heading a bit that way more. OK. Or if I want to, to just play around with the water, I will add the sun heading a little bit uh, that way. And straight away, you're gonna, your eye is going to be guided more to where is the light. Um, so yeah, you. This it's I think uh, all the effects inside Lumion is what really uh, stands out this program from the crowd. To be honest, that and the amount of vegetation they have on um, in their in their library, um, because it, it it's 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 such a big difference and. Um, you can work uh, a lot and you can show the bit more the concept of the garden and your own ideas uh, 
just playing around with the effects with exact same images the exact same design but just playing around with the effects you can change the whole mood of the of the garden so yeah that's basically what i want to talk about today um i i posted some and it was really quite interesting actually because a lot of people actually prefer without effects or some people did on instagram but i think it had more to do because this is maybe more summery and this is more like moods winter or autumn moods uh, but it had to do with the the, the time of day um, because um, yeah i prefer with effects definitely um, but as you can see the skies the softening of the the planting uh, the reflection okay it's it's a big difference the lighting in in, in the planting uh, the reflection in the glass it's a big difference so i will post the 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 images in the end of the video i will do a blog post as well about the effects the settings if you're already using lumion i will share just uh, subscribe to the newsletter and i'm gonna share <coughs> um if you if you're working lumion for example without effects here you know you can go to the menu you go to edit sorry menu you go to file and you can load um, effects so basically i will save my settings and share with you guys uh, so you can have exact the same effects already is the uh, is the whole set of the effects already pre-done for you okay um so all the settings exact uh, numbers etc are going to be in that file so i'm going to be sharing that file if you're already working in lumion just subscribe to our newsletter um plus you know if you haven't checked out our courses um i'm a bit delayed with getting the update course from sketchup that I'm definitely going to come up um still this year and uh, it's going to be for even uh, people already registering the course they're going to be um updated as well for the new um the new videos i just wanted to improve a little bit more uh, plus i'm going to have more extensions as well talking about that um but yeah all the, the lumion is in lumion pro 9 already so this is uh, the it already had two updates this course um one update sorry so this is already the second version uh so yeah just check out and check out our blog as well where i'm gonna post a bit more uh talking about uh, the settings and uh, where you can register for your newsletter as well so i can share with you guys um the lumion effects okay see you guys in the next video